Hey there, everyone. It's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. I hope you're all well. Since posting two episodes or parts of my continuation of the Headless Seal investigation, I decided to go back to the park where I originally saw the Headless Seal and then the other seal or sea lion and take a walk around and I'd already taken a walk around and shown you the big circular claw print uh, impression in the ground that was left after this creature uh, took out a goose and I thought took off maybe it did take off maybe it didn't I found new evidence that suggests it might not have taken off. So I went back to the same park, Gary Point Park, Richmond, British Columbia, right on the ocean. It's right at the mouth of the uh, south arm of the Fraser River. And I've suggested in the past that creatures or animals of some sort that are taking out other animals could be using this as a as a transport system, a waterway. There's been bears that have been found mutilated up this south arm of the Fraser River, also on Vancouver Island, and other animals that have been found mutilated, including seals and sea lions. So I think it's just using this as sort of a transport waterway system. But this is sort of the mouth, the Gary Point Park is sort of the mouth, the opening to the south arm. There's a north arm that goes north, <laughs> uh, uh, heads east into the inland area. And then there's a south arm. This is where Gary Point Park is. So this was just, I don't know, it was on the 11th, I do know. It was on the 11th. And this is now the 14th that I'm recording this. So three days ago. I went back to Gary Point Park and took another walk around with the express intent of uh, finding something, finding evidence related to this creature. So I've just taken a bunch of videos of what I found and I guess we'll just start playing the videos and we'll see. I'll show you exactly what it is and uh, and put a call out by the end of this video for help. So you'll see what I need help with desperately. So I'll start with the first video. We'll go from there. I just basically walked around the park following, following tr uh, the trail, <laughs> tracking something. And you'll see, anyway. Okay, I just want to make a note of this. I followed the uh, trail of feathers. Came back to Gary Point Park and followed the trail of feathers to this flattened area. Now look, I want you to see this. All the grass around there is sticking up. But in this section, it's been flattened. Okay, so look at the flattened grass. Not flattened by one animal in a small section, flattened in the entire area here, okay? So I'm gonna follow this. It comes right around here. It's all flattened down, this entire area around this little bush here. The ground, the uh, grass has been flattened. Flattened all the way around it. Look, you can see right in this whole section here, all flattened down. And there's some feathers there. And again, flattened grass, you can see that flattened all the way around this, all flattened down, look at that. Bent over, all in one direction. Something large coiled around this bush and consumed the, the goose it captured. But then you can see, okay, flattened grass, man. It's flattened all the way up. Look, it's directional, flattened, directional. Flattened and it goes all the way around here. You can see it kind of I don't want to say snakes But the grass in this direction 
is all pointing towards here. Like I see, it's all flattened. Look at that. Pushing in one direction. So it came, sorry for the fast motion here, from over there, that whole bush all the way around it, everything around that has been pushed in one direction. In a counter clockwise or there's no wind that blows that. It's all covered. It's all shaded from the wind. So something flattened that. And you can see some sections of grass are still up, but others are flattened again in this direction, flattened down, going in this direction, flattened, flattened all the way. And you can see flattened, flattened on both sides. Something came through here and flattened all the grass down right through here. And look, then it sat right here flatten the grass down everywhere. This thing isn't huge, huge. That's like a snake, I think. Anyway, and then we've got, again, grass being flattened in a certain area, all flattened. Flattened, 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 here too. And this is heading towards the water, okay? Again, flattened sections. It's all flattened in one direction. It's all going on a pathway. See, you can see it. All flattened down. Where did it go? Uh, let's see. Anyway, let me turn around. You can see it. It comes. Look at that. All flattened from that point. Like it came along here. Back and forth. And then past here. Flattened grass. Directional. Again, sort of going in that direction. Anyway, hot on the trail. Literally. Okay, here we go. This is just around the corner. Again, from that bush where the flattened area was on the other side of it. You can see all around it. Flattened areas of right there. That big old flattened area. It's not a little coyote. That's something very large. And this is... See those bushes over there, that stand? That's where I was, where the feathers were, and the slithery pattern came across this path, and it's in this area. This whole area is flattened down. Now you can see all of this is flattened. And look at this area right here with that big print. That's a big print right in the grass. Something sat here. Something sat here, pushing the grass down in various parts of it. You can see grass being pushed down just in certain sections. Okay, and I got a slithering right in here where I'm going with my feet. Look, I'm walking right in here. It's slithery right here. It's all laid down. All this grass is laid down. So this slithered along the path or slithered in this little section and sat here. And you can see all this grass is pressed down, not all at once. But look, like you're putting your arm in an armchair and a section goes down, but the other section stays up. And then thumps in there. Look at that. That big round section right there, that section is a big thump, a leg or a paw or something. But anyway, something flattened this whole section down and look what we have. More feathers, okay? More feathers and a bone, a piece of bone. And another feather that's right inside that hole. Something sat right here. Something sat right here. Big old sections of, of uh, flattened areas. Another big section of flattened area right here with something leading in. Now look at this. This is coming off the ocean. Right there, that's the ocean. Okay, coming down this path and going right in here, slithering along here. You can see it's all flattened down here. It comes right in here and flattens everything down in this whole section. Whole section in here. This whole area I just showed you is where it's sitting. But yeah, it's coming right in off the ocean, in my opinion. And then just slithering around, and grabbing shit, whatever it wants. This hole, it's all directional. This has been laid down in a directional pattern. Okay? Flattened, going this way, to this entire section. All flattened. Something slithering around through these grasses in this park. Third time, third thing I found, third piece of evidence I found in this same park 
going back to 2016. Something is living in this park where it's coming in off the ocean and feeding and then going back. You can see where it's not going, okay? This grass doesn't just fall down like that. It doesn't fall down in a directional pattern. Look at all this grass. Okay, there's the stand over there. And it comes along the pathway and slithers through the grass. You can see the pattern that is left. And this may not be the same creature. Okay, this might be some, like a, you know, I don't know, lizardy type deal. But not all the grass is pressed down is what I'm saying. This section is not. But over there, yeah. Can you guess where this pathway leads? Where it comes from? The ocean. Straight down the middle of this frame is where not only that headless seal was found, but the sea lion that I found about a month or two ago as well. It's shown in the video. This is the same beach, and that is where it was slithering through the grass or something. Okay, and I came down to the beach, straight down from that pathway, and look what I found. Look what I found. Another dead animal on the exact same beach. Another one. Look, bones and shit. Holy crap. It's just skin and bones. Wow. I can't tell what's going on with this, but caught underneath a tree or something. Look at that. Just nothing left. This is facing the opposite direction from the one I came upon. Okay. This one is facing in the opposite direction from that last one I came upon with this flippers ripped off and the hole in it. This isn't that same one. Really different. Something's using this beach. A creature. Okay, my phone's gonna die, but I'm walking towards residential neighborhoods, the end of the park, and again, okay, I don't turn this sideways. Feathers and dig marks in the ground, okay? Flattened down parts, look, it's all been flattened down, flattened, flattened, with a giant dig mark and parts of, more parts, more parts of a bird and a dig. Giant dig in the ground. See? And another one. One there. And another one there. One, two, three big digs into the ground. There's another one. A lot of digs. A lot of holes. Just single holes. And then there's this big dig mark next to something, whatever, feathers or something. Just a giant hole. More holes. Dig marks. A hole, hole, here's another one, look, just a single hole all by itself, dug deep into the soil. A dog won't take his paw and dig a single hole like that. More, more holes, another hole right there, another hole right there, a single mark, like a big claw or something like that. More marks, more holes, two more holes. Anyway, we're going towards this flattened down area again. Flatten down and look you can see over there There's some feathers over there. Here's some feather. There's a feather right there and around those little tufts of grass. It's all flattened It's all flattened all flattened This is not one animal Walking on it like a little coyote. This is a big animal flattening the grass all the way down and then down this little pathway here And look what we've got Look what we've got Flattened, 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 and carnage. Again, all flattened here. 
Now, if this was a coyote or coyotes, this would be a giant pack of coyotes coming in here and all sitting here and all flattening down this grass. But look how it's flattened down all at once in one single direction. Something big came in here and ate that goose. Ate it. Look at it. It's still there. It didn't even finish. Maybe I just came across it. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Let's see if we can see. Like, this is being ripped off in, in chunks, too. Okay, you can say this was maybe an eagle, but eagle doesn't flatten down this big of an area. Okay, big chunks taken off of this bird. Pieces everywhere. That's fresh, man. I think I'm chasing this creature around the park. Look at the teeth marks that made that. And then more chunks, and more chunks, and then parts of it all the way through here, all flattened. Bird parts everywhere. Parts everywhere, flattened grass. And then over in this section over here, another one. Just all little chunks. And you could say that's coyote, but I don't think coyotes flatten down the area like that. And then more over there. I've never seen packs of coyotes, large enough packs of coyotes to take out several birds at once. Look at flattened again. cell phone died so I ran home and came back with my good camera. I apologize for the sound. I might have to actually mute the sound and just have the video playing and comment on it as it's playing because the wind picks up quite substantially to the point where you can't even hear my voice. So anyway, we'll see what happens with this. So here's the park. All the way on one side to the left. Expanse out to the ocean, all the way to the right. I've gone from this area past the trees, past the, the stand of trees over here, and back behind that, taking a path There's down to food. the ocean where I found another. It's sitting animal. there, that's its food. All these feathers and all these dig marks and all the grass laid down all was up in that back area back there. And then I wandered across the grass, past the geese, to this closer area, just along here, right around this area, where I then videotaped with my phone until it died, a bunch of other stuff. And I wandered down towards here, towards this uh, garbage can area over here, and found more feathers, and that's what I'm going to head back to right now, because, well, you'll see. of feathers and whatnot. Now uh, they're taking off this little girl into the field. Overhead, there they are. See all these geese? It's feeding on some of those. Okay, so I came over here because I followed the trail of feathers and found again a flattened area right here. Okay, now at this flattened area, maybe a little bit left, but Right around here, there it is, there's a little piece left. And I photographed it with my, uh, with my cell phone. That's a little, little piece of poo. And there's a little piece of poo. And I got most of the poo that was sitting right there. Human size, but it wasn't coyote. Coyotes have got a tiny poo and it's got like lots of hair and stuff in it. But uh, this looked like human poo. And because it's in the same area that's been flattened down here, just like the others, I ran home and grabbed a bag and took the entire thing. So then, let's see, 
it's all flattened down. But right there, that's the water right there. So it can just do its thing. Oh, yes. Look. Do I have to say anything more? I mean, really. There it is. That's his mark right there, the two. Anyway, there's another dig in the sand right there, or in the, in the dirt. I mean, this is solid dirt. Look, this is solid dirt. Something, something with weight and mass and whatnot. Scratch marks, and then further over here, some more scratch marks. But anyway, I picked up this whole thing. Look, you can see it go around. Look, it comes around, and then goes this way, and then flattens this entire area right here. Little tufts sticking up. Look, tufts. Tufts, like just around the tree, around that bush. All flattened around it. Like it's coiling itself around. And then all it has to do is come right over here, across the pathway. And here's a path right here, made by it probably. Right down there. You can see how it's all broken off. Broken. All these little, all these little twigs are broken off. Right at the, someone didn't come along and cut these halfway down. They were broken off by something that came down here. See? All it had to do was eat its meal right over here and then slither across the pathway into the water. And then, where that child was chasing the geese, I come over here closer to the public area, to the public parking area, and I'll show you what I found over here. More feathers. Okay, more feathers. Going in there. More feathers, just feathers. Just feathers. I'll show you what's there. Okay, so I'm following a trail of feathers here. One feather here, one feather here. Yes, the wind is blowing this way, but I want you to see this, okay? Then there's a flattened area, okay? A flattened area with tufts sticking up in the center. And something has coiled around that area right there. And I came over to this area here, this whole area, and again, one flattened area here. Showing you the flattened areas. Here are just little tufts. Various different areas around here. You can see the tufts that are sticking out. It's not a pack. It's just corn. Little 30 coyotes and the tufts are sticking out here. This is a public area. We can come to and come through. But then again, there's another flattened area with tufts sticking up right there. You can see the direction of this. The entire thing is flattened. The coyotes aren't that big. This is six feet long. This is tough. Just this entire area. See? Another one right There's here. Another one. You can see a flat tuft area with tufts sticking up. Directional pattern on the grass. More feathers. Going around it. Directional. I mean, it's flattened here. Directional. And then this whole area right here. Right here. Flat. See? All flat. From the down. end of the frame to the end of the frame. But look. Like the tufts are sticking Another up. tuft. Okay? So let's back up. Tufts of grass. You can see. Because it's coiled Something. around. Something. No, look. This entire the area is one back. circular pattern. It's on one side, it was eating its meal on one side, okay. and within that tuft, Flattened. we'll see. Something's coming out of the but water over there. That area. The water the ocean, goes all the way around, it comes up a channel, around, there's boats, around, there's boats that docked over here. Over there. So Something it can come is up definitely on that side, it can come up on the front side, it can come using up on this park. the parking lot side. It's this buffet. Right up through. Children playing you know, all the time. Here. It already has. That's where the beaches are. All across there. You can 
see that circular tuft, the tuft right there. Okay, so we show this tuft, and we'll see what's in it. Let's see what the sun is. I said I went over there to that area over there, way over there, and I picked up a whole lot of poop that was massive. Okay, massive. Now check this out, okay? There's the circular pattern. There's the, where its head was eating its beetle. And this way... Coiled around. It curled around there. Oh, look what's here. Look. look what's here. And here it's curled around. I'm going to take this too. I'm going to take this too. Because this is a little bit weathered. Rained on. But it's the same as what I just gathered from over there, 100 yards away, in this circular pattern where it's consumed its meal here and then taken it right there. Okay, so then I start walking towards the parking lot, there's the parking lot over there, and I was just behind me over there, with the tufts, and then the other one where the sample I collected was over there. Anyway, so I started walking towards the parking lot area there. So this is why I think I was hot on its trail. Like, I was going through the grasses, and for some reason, you can't see it. I don't know why, whether it camouflages itself like the movie Predator and it's absolutely see-through, visible, in invisible rather. But these are fresh tracks leading away from where I'm coming from, like I'm chasing it away. And look how it goes from this big, long, on this side, this side, this side. I don't think this creature is that big. Not like the ones that I've shown already with, you know, a, a wingspan or a claw span that goes, you know, 15 feet across. But this thing has some kind of claws that it digs into the ground. This is what all these pot marks are. And, and, and it looks like talon marks or anyway. So here we got directional, directional pattern in the, in the ground of something heavy. And you can see here, here, something dragged here. So it's going around this way, like a, you know, say <laughs> a Komodo dragon, you know? But I can't see any any uh, swishy tail action on that. I can definitely see what looks like big snake patterns in the grass. And you can see in that grass that it, the grass, the pattern of the grass went with the way that a snake would go left and then right and then left and right as it slithers through the grass. But then it can run like this and create, this is four feet long, the scratch mark. Anyway, you'll see, I'll start playing again. And look what I found. I mean, these gouges are not, what dog makes that gouge? That is, let me count it. That is one, two, three, four feet long, that gouge. Four feet long with the one beside it. And then again. Big pocket mark. Big whatever that is. A single mark right into the ground. That's two inches deep. Two inches deep. That goes down. Yeah, coming up to my my second phalanges on my finger. There we go. Dug right into the ground. That's one. We'll see more around. But, uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, look at this. Okay, so behind there is this big claw that went right on top of me. And these giant claw marks. Look at that. That longest one is four of my feet. Gouge marks, gouge, 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 gouge. Those are three feet long, two feet long, three feet long. Going in this direction. And then a giant push off. There we go. There we go. There's that push off again. 
Look. And look at that shape right there. Look. That started there and there and went like this and pushed off. Look, you can see it lifted the ground. There's some other digs for it digs into the ground right there too. This thing came running. There's my sample of the other scat. That's its poop. And look. It's running towards the parking lot, I think. Yes, because the uh, the claws run the back of that print that I showed you in the last it's video. It's running away from me. So this came this way and something dragged along there and then pushed off right there. Look at that. And that's the same pattern that's in the same pattern that's in the sand that I showed that's leading into the water from where the headless seal was. That sort of U-shaped and then you can see holes in the ground around it too. So something pushed off here. And then again, more damage to the soil going in this direction again towards, oh again, more. So continuing more. More. Yeah, this thing didn't along. take off. It went to the continuing water. Continuing along. And why continuing nobody along. saw it? Why Look, nobody saw it? Long. I have no idea. It looks Look like that. two or what or something. And then something went into the soil there. Big S-shaped pattern in the soil, in the sand. I don't know, I'm just seeing one, like, one dig. It's not really sand, it's just anyway, it's dirt. And it's about and then, one degree, I believe. And I don't so know if it's, it's continuing, but I'm gonna keep on going. Look, look, that's the parking lot right there. I don't see anything, oh, here we go. To my left, another dig, right there. And something pushed into the ground the pattern. So I think this thing was taking off from right here. I don't see not taking off. Else. Not taking off. Any other digs? But let's turn around. I'm going to turn around from this point. There's the dig there. But it's coming along this area. So let's let's see. That's like 15 feet off to the side from the center one here. So we've got this one right up here. That's a gouge right there, but then all the way over here, and then there's this gouge over here in the grass. So that's, uh, that's a good, oh, that's at least. No. Thanks. Okay, I'm taking more video of this. I'm at the front part of this, another hole in the ground. My camera died again, so I'm going to be splicing it all together. But, uh, yeah, there's these big old prints, I don't know, pushing the ground up. Yeah, that's, marks uh, that's around not a dog. It. That's not a dog print. Okay. Back in the direction from where this came. This came from that direction from where it was, uh, I apologize, it's raining here, but uh, uh, from way over there where all those feathers in that coiled area was towards me, towards the parking area, so I'm just finding all these prints that are leading towards the parking area, like this big one right here. Oh, you can see boy. how it's got one, two, three, four, at least here, here, into the into the soil as well. That's one that's print. The, that's, not a, that's not a series of dog prints. That's sorry, one so print, that like I showed you. Right Something into slammed into the ground. And again, what is that? That is not a. That's not. Look how a dog print. Look how much, much soil that oh pushed boy. up. A lot of soil look, pushed got up a, around that. That's right a lot of too. force. A talon or something, but that's pushed up. I assume going in. And uh, here again, it's pushed into the ground. Take some force. But anyway, these giant dig marks right there as well. That might be dog though. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back to this original area. Hold on. Okay, you can see in this area right here the digs right there heading in that direction towards the parking lot, like I said. But then there's a big long valley sort of gouged into the sand right here. 
can see that, but heading in that same direction. So here's the goat. Just we'll follow it backwards there. Again, something giant. I mean, a dog doesn't make a drag mark that long. That's like three, three feet with another little gouge next to it. And then here, something was running, going backwards, but something was running. There you go. Double, a double, right there. Big long gouge in there. And then that one right there, three feet long, with gouge marks into the ground, heading towards the parking lot. Oh my goodness. And the water, I guess. And then look at this here. And you can see how that one turns outwards. You know, there's two over here, side by side, with a with a something dug in there. That's the claw that came dug back into and the soil. dug That's into today. the soil. This is fresh today, okay? <laughs> this is not prehistoric in the grass. And what, these giant claw prints in the soil. One of its claws dug today. into the ground Look, when it came back. You can see this is a drag mark along here, yep. right along when here. It came through, okay. its claw went along into the ground. This section here, drag, drag, drag. But then there's this. Big S mark. Oh, swoopy kind of something dragged along the grass there too as it was going. As it was going in that direction. Okay, you've got that big something, a talon or something into the soil there. And then behind it we've got more dig marks. And those, again, these are, here I'll put my foot next to them. There you go. They're a foot long, each of those drag marks. And then some more drag marks here. Indentations in the soil, one right behind the other as it was running away from something. And this is coming from, from where <laughs> it was pulled up. You know, here you go. Same ones as the ones over there, ahead of it. Big gouges into the... I like saying that word, gouges. I actually don't like the word. Digs. Claw prints, there it is, right there. Kind of a U-shape. Again, there's my foot. Exactly the same as the ones I have in the sand leading towards the water that I showed you in video number one. And then this one, big long one that's like at least two feet total. And there's a two foot one. That one's about a foot. That one's a little gouge, less than a foot. There's three feet right there. This is the four foot one right here to start it all off. And one went next to it with a little double gouge there. Double claw thing that started. And you can see the point right there. That's where it started. And it dragged right down. And then something else that was four feet long. Off it goes. This is where I used to throw the ball for my dog. And then this one right here, look, right into the ground. It goes in like two inches, straight down. Just one claw mark to print on the ground. Is there another one over there? Three, four, five, yeah, five, six or seven paces away from that. There's a dig in the ground, something dug in there. Yep. Direction coming from where it coiled around that spot and ate its food and had a poop because I got it sampled here with me and I'll walk back over this way towards it. It's windy too, you might hear a bit of wind. But yeah, this is where sorry. it was. Right here. Coiled up, eating its food, having a poop, and then it took off, likely. Into the water. I don't think it took off. All marks all the way. Flying. There. That's where it's coming. Where that front one is right there. That's where that, the other beach is right where that is right now. on the other 
side of where that was, way over, was where it coiled up. And then it's come straight across the field. I've tracked it all the way across the field, right to the parking area. And look what I've got right here, right at the parking area. Big, long gouges into the ground. And then, huh, something there by itself hit the ground too. But anyway, that's like three feet long, three and a half feet long there. And then something in there, something hit the ground and pushed up. And then something else hit the ground here. I think it made a sharp it turn. Into there. And then look here and here. That's three. three claws or more. And that's at least, here's my foot. You can see that one that's in the end, the hole in the ground there? Inches, Same as the other one. Inches. Drags through and puts a puncture mark in the ground. It's sort of, it goes this way towards the parking lot nope, here. No, the other way, towards but me. But then, just to the towards right. Towards me, it turns. Oh, okay. Running from that direction all the way across here, and then it might have just taken a sharp turn. that long of a drag mark in the sand, in the sand, or any of these that are deep, deep, deep. I mean, I'm, here's my foot. Look, I'm digging into the soil. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Okay? It's so solid. My heel won't break through. Yet, all of these dig. Oh, my camera died again. So there you have it. All those dig marks, okay? Taking some photos as well because I went down to the water and got photos of the rocks leading up out of the water. So I'll just go through these quickly. That's that weird puncture mark. It's got something that jams into the ground. It's like, like a foot or something. Again, these holes, I think this is how it's propelling itself. And this could very well be a completely different kind of creature than what I've gotten, what I've shown you around the lake and up in Squamish. These dig marks. Might be talons on the end of wings or something like that. Who knows? Just a big dig mark. So the head to one, I think uh, kids had gotten a hold of it or something and found it and put a stick into it or something. But this is a perfect example. It's ripped its head off completely. It's its thing. Apologize for the beeping. So there it is on the end of a stick, but it's ripped its head off of one of the geese it's been feeding on. is the flattened area, or one of the flattened areas. Carnage. I think it just waits for the geese to come around, and then it snatches one and takes it off somewhere like this and coils up in the, in the grass and eats it. Whether it's early in the morning and the first person who brings their dog along for a dog walk scares it away or something... but something is definitely using this park as its feeding ground. You think the authorities know about it? You can bet your ass they do. Look at this pathway. It's come along this pathway and flattened the grass as it's gone in the direction that it's going. All the way along here. 
coiled around the bush. That little blue thing, little pieces of blue in there, that's a, a bag of dog poo that someone had left. So whether that was ripped open and eaten by it or something or other. But anyway, you can see the pattern that it's left in the ground around this bush. All the grass is flattened in one direction. I don't know what happened to the audio on this one, but I'm showing again where it's taking its path. It's coming in off the ocean and coming in through the grass to just sit and eat its food. You can see little sections there, little one foot wide sections where it's used that and then come in, you can see the direction of the grass being all pushed. It's just slithered around this area. You can see where it's not, the areas where it's not been pressed down. But then when you see, look, it's, look, that's a curve. And look, curve, and all in one direction, and a curve, oh my goodness. You can see it, how it slithers on the ground and pushes the grass in that direction. Then across the path, the geese were suddenly scared by something, and I turned around to see what it was. Couldn't see anything. But again, look at all this flattened area. Look, it's all pushed in one direction. And then a whole area right there, flattened that area as well, but you can see where the tufts are, are left up, where it's gone around them. A the whole area over there by that bush where the poo bag was. And I'm just walking through here trying to find its trail. I bet you anything it was in there when I was doing that. Look, all pressed down in one direction. There you go, it's trail, all pushed down in one direction. Let's follow it. See, look, circular, like a yin-yang pattern. Circular, how it curves around the corner. Look at it go around the corner. Flatten grass, turns, curling, coiling, slithering through the grass. There are people who use this park in the summertime. Like they'll go down to the beach and they'll sit on the beach or they'll sleep overnight down at the beach. I wonder if anyone's gone missing and the authorities haven't said anything. Look, this section's of flattened grass. And you can see the pathway. I put these videos in the photo file because they're uh, in the uh, up and down orientation. Didn't, didn't match up with the other ones. But this whole area, you can see where it's been flattened, where this thing has used it to go through. Push the grass down all at once. Now it uses this pathway. There's that section again where there was a, a, um, a print in the grass itself with a feather in it. And see how it's gone and sat in certain areas. There it is, flattened, flattened grass. That's that area. You can see this whole section. That is where that indentation was. It looks like there's an indentation there as well. But the feathers again, I was just following the trail of feathers, following the flattened grass. There's the feather inside that. Something pushed in there and made that indentation in the grass.
There's those dig marks. Flattened. That is that whole area. And this is where the poo is. Now see? There's the poo. Look how massive that is. This whole area is flattened. So it was sitting in this area here with all the grass pushed in one direction around this tuft. And it pooped right there as it was coiled around. There it is. Now, you're going to see what's in the center of this. Are you sitting down, folks? I don't know what this looks like to you. But to me, that looks like a human fingernail. Okay. This is the first sample I took. It's massive. I don't know any dog that, that lays one down that huge. I mean, really. There's my foot next to it. So all in all, its length is over a foot. And it's about an inch in diameter. But a human fingernail, okay? I might be making things up in my head, but that, come on, come on. I've looked at this several times and gone back to it after going, no, there's no way that could be a human fingernail. You know how long it takes for fingernails to uh, decompose? Five to 40 years. To me, it looks like a human fingernail. So I need help, folks. I need someone who knows how to analyze this, who knows where there's a lab that can analyze this and find out what kind of scat this is. Because I've cross-referenced it to coyotes, bears, uh, rabbits. I mean, every animal I could possibly think of and every dog I could possibly think of. And I've got nothing that matches this and certainly nothing that might have a human fingernail in it. I don't know anyone who could test it. Well, I do know people who could test it, but I don't understand people who don't get this when the evidence is right there, even scientists. The University of British Columbia, after copious amounts of evidence, have completely ignored me. Everyone's completely ignored me. So what's going on? And why won't anybody even pay attention? My friend last night, I said to him, this is the evidence I have. This particular post and the scat and the claw prints and the evidence of it going out into the water. And his suggestion was that it was just kids. I mean, in the last couple of videos, is there anyone that's still on the fence about this? Seriously. Personally, I think that the first two videos I've shown, part one and part two, are absolutely shocking and real. It's going on right now. And for people to think that this is just a joke or this is just entertainment, this is ridiculous. So I need someone to help analyze this because we're at war with the authorities, whoever's keeping this information, the cops, the military, the government, who knows who else? Oceans and fisheries, for sure. This is a sea monster, folks. This is a sea monster coming out of the ocean and feeding on things in a public park and running across to the public parking area and running past little children. Why isn't anyone freaking out about this and doing something, calling the authorities, saying what's going on, look at this information. It's going to take people en masse disappearing without a trace. 
disappearing without a trace. If you know of people who have disappeared, and I've looked into it already, and there are several, several people in these areas who have disappeared without a trace. So do you think the authorities don't know what's going on? That's, that's complete crap. No pun intended. There it is, folks. I don't know what else is in there. It looks like sand and other things, but uh, it does not look like a dog. Dog poop. Because I've looked at dozens and dozens of photos of dog poop, and none of them match this. And to have them, I've got two samples now in my fridge, in my freezer, as we speak, as I speak, from two separate locations. So, I just need them analyzed. Again, flattened area with this poop just sitting there in it. More dig marks. There's the poop. Two bags of poop. Right before I put them in the freezer. One with a fingernail in it. Now look at that. Again, like the same one I showed in the last video. This does not match. There's no other ones like this around. That's like six inches across. Pushed into the ground that I was jamming my heel into. That I couldn't even budge it. Yeah, it looks like there's less grass and, and uh, more soil in this area. So perhaps it was not as, uh, as firm in this area. But look how much soil is pushed up as this thing pushes off. It's coming towards us. And the claws in that. Just one single one puncture right into the ground. Big long claw marks all the way through the soil. And look at the direction it's going. You can see it. This is a snake-like lizard creature that can camouflage itself completely. We need FLIR to see if we can get a heat signature on it. We need infrared cameras set up around this park. Anybody who has access to this park and a little bit of time can capture this creature on video, can actually capture it, physically capture it, if they have the resources. Anybody. These are just giant dig marks as it as it takes off, as it runs away from likely me. I mean, I could have been chasing it away from where it was. This drag mark through the soil doesn't look super fresh, though. Looks like it's been rained on, so. But a lot of these marks, they just... That's not days old. And there's a, um, a wind a kite sir, uh, carting, you know, the wind carting? Three wheels with a with a, a sail. They are in this park and go round and round in circles. Could be government. Could be hired deliberately to cover up all these prints and tracks. They just hire somebody to toddle around on a cart all day long and wipe all these away. But this is fresh. Look, you can see it's absolutely fresh. And there's no matching. I mean, it's like one. That's one behind and one in front. So it's like a one-legged creature. I don't know what. One-legged snake. Again, these giant prints in the soil, pushing it up by an inch or two around it. Mm. That's huge, folks. That's like a puma or larger. Big, wide, pushing the soil up. Yeah, look how long that is. That almost looks like that 
that thump in the sand and the thump in the rock, that, that foot-wide uh, indentation that was about a foot to three feet away from the claw print, about a foot long. Just a big indentation, a foot long, about three inches wide, into the sand, the soil ground, pushing it up. And this is where it made the turn, I think, and just suddenly shot in the other direction. There's that three claws coming towards us, because when it drags through, it, its claw pushes off into the ground. And then heading off away from the public parking area, out towards the water again. These puncture marks again in the soil punctures. So now I went down to the water. I decided to follow it down. I didn't videotape it because it was quite treacherous and I didn't want to take a header down there, but was down on the rocks by myself, looking around, looking over my shoulder. You can be sure of that. And look at all these, the, the damage to the rocks, the damage to these rocks, just all across the face of these rocks and drag marks through them, drag mark along the rock, drag, drag, drag. Again, directional. Some of them I'm taking pictures because I think there might be something there, but I didn't want to stick around for too long, so I just started snap, snap, snapping. But look, drag mark, like an S shape, drag mark here, here, and here, and then up here as well. Giant drag marks, point. There's the points again, there's the point again, there's a point again, there's a chip off that rock. Something came up here using the rocks. There it is, point. And this is only, you know, maybe uh, given the tide, it's maybe only four feet up to the to the ground from the water. Look, you can see a big chunk taken out by a claw. Big old chunk. That point, it shows the direction. And this direction is pointing up to the parking area. This is... I, I followed it straight right to the first available uh, little exit down into the water, and this is what I found. Look at that jaggedy, that something came in there and took that chunk of rock out. You can see its claw prints left in there. I'm possibly down here as well, but there for sure. Look at that. That doesn't erode like that naturally. And then there's a big indentation. Remember that big indentation, that star-shaped indentation in the lake? I might have shown that already. Something jammed into the rock. Like, I don't know, like a star pattern. Making a big hole, big hole like that. Took off a chunk of that rock. And again, see this whole section of rock was taken off by something. You can probably see the the claw prints that are in here as well. This whole thing taken off. Look at that right there. Let's get closer the, to that. Let's see that one. Look at that. Jagged, jagged, jagged. Something took that off and probably came right through here. Took that off, came right through here, and took a chunk out of there as well. This whole section of rock was taken out. Jagged, jagged. Again, a point. Something took that out, boom. Took that whole chunk out right there. And again. Came through here and took this whole section of rock off as it came through. All these, all these little points, all these little chips along here, all these little digs in the rock, like there. This look, that's a big claw print. You can see there's a there's a matching one at the lake. 
There's a matching one on the rock face. It matches exactly this one. I, I don't have it, but I just thought of that now. See, right on that rock face. Something dragged through and took a chunk off that. You can see the other areas. There one right there. There was another one somewhere else. Over here, right there. Little notch, little notch. All these little notches are where its claws came in and took a chunk out. There you go. You can see right there, that very point and a dragging right through and took that chunk right off. All these right here, that's a chunk that was taken off by it. All these little areas you can see, chunks, chunks taken off, chunks, little notches come out of here, little notches and drags all the way through, and this is coming up to the parking area. See? Chip, chip, took out this whole section. Big old drag mark across that rock. Fresh rock too. See? Fresh, this whole thing is fresh underneath from where it scratched it off. Scratched all this, this matter off here with whatever it put down there with a big old claw print. And took a chunk off there. See, notch, 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 notch. Grab that, and pull that chunk right off. This right here. Point, drag through, took that whole thing out. Look, chunk, chunk. All these little notches here. One, two, this one right here. These are all notches that it's made. See? Dragged right across the top of that rock and took it off. These right here. See? Put its claw right in there. This damaged the rock right here, too. Right here. Probably came straight down here. All these little drag marks and chips taken out of the rock. Some of them aren't as easy to see as others. These logs aren't there all the time, so this drag mark here that took the side of this rock off was caused by it, but then the log probably washed in with the tide and sat there now. You can see all the drag marks on the rocks. This right here. All these little drag marks coming up. Drag. Chips, chip out of there as it scrambled up the rock. Now we're at the, this is ground level. I'm just standing there, so it's only like three or four feet down, maybe five. But this whole chunk of rock was taken out by it as it came up onto the ground. That the parking area is just over here, like maybe 30 feet away, 40 feet away. And then look, you can see one, two, three, four, maybe five. What? Like, like took this whole chunk out right here as it came up onto the ground, up onto the level ground from the ocean. Big claw mark in the rock. Point, point. You can see, drag this whole section here. It's taken out by it. <sighs> so that's it. There you have it. That is, I mean, even looking at this, I look away and then I look back at it. You can see the claw print right in the stone. So I need someone to analyze some poop. We need to figure this out, folks. Thank you once again for all your support. We've hit over 5,000 followers with thousands and thousands of views of this. We need to get this information out, folks. This is real. This is happening now. And it's only going to take one person after another to disappear without a trace. And the cops won't be able to hide it anymore. Government won't be able to cover it up. Oceans and fisheries won't be able to come out and sweep it all under the rug. So, anyhow. I got some poop in my freezer. It needs to be analyzed. Take care, folks, and for God's sake, don't get eaten. I don't know. I've changed that to don't get eaten because it's very likely a possibility. I mean, really, all these monsters I'm finding with all these claw prints and everywhere, this isn't one creature that's going up and down the coast. 
these are everywhere and they're hiding them and it might be because we can't see them so they're getting away with it so far and we're going missing our loved ones are being eaten okay our loved ones are being eaten I know of at least four people since looking into this in the last few weeks that have gone missing without a trace. Anyhow, take care, folks. Hope you're all well.